begin with the assessment date, that is the date that the assessment was administered to the student. Date the student was enrolled in LAP, that is the date you actually began providing services and this is the date entered into Synergy and in our state report. Student ID number from Synergy. Please ensure that this number is accurate in your report. Student last name, first name, their grade level assignment. You'll notice we still have the drop down menu on the name of assessments with four options IRR, WAKIDS, Rigby, which is another leveled reading system and student assessment focus. Please note that for the month of September, you may simply report student assessment focus for that month rather than enrolling individual students. Also a reminder that whatever assessment you use to qualify a student, you must use the same assessment to exit a student. Qualifying score is their IRR or estimated IRR level. If you are qualifying students based on WA kids, their qualifying score will be below A. Program code for all of our students, their program code will be LTAR, LAP Targeted Assistance in Reading. Program mode, this refers to how delivery of services is done. Push in, provided in the general education classroom, or pull out, where students are coming to you from their general education classroom. Provider type, if you are a certificated LAP provider, you are an IS, Intervention Specialist. If you are a paraeducator, you are PE. For each student, you will need to indicate the provider type. There is a third provider type allowable under OSPI guidelines known as TT or Trained Teacher. We use this very rarely in North Shore. A trained teacher is a general education classroom teacher that provides LAP services to eligible students within the general education classroom. If you have questions about the provider type, please contact your LAP TOSA. Notes. This is a section where you may indicate any information that you feel we need to have relative to that individual student.